So I'm waiting for parts to come in, so I'm messing around, just confirming how well a battery and relay welder really work. <clears throat> I got this shitty old battery. I think it's like almost 12 years old now. Left it outside for a few winters. I just charged it and it's at 12.36 volts. So, give you an idea of, st of its status. It's an AGM Marina solar battery. But I got a plug in the wall here. I'll turn that on now My for my timing. You got a relay set up here for a bunch of different timing. Bunch of different timing. But I'm going to go with my shortest timing here. And I got two strips of 0.2 nickel. I got the capacitor working here as like a buffer just to give me a perfectly consistent welds. At least a consistent amount of power. You know, if there's dirt or debris, you're probably not, might not get the consistent weld, but. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so, uh. I don't know if you can see, but I have this little button on here. That's just to prime my timing. And then I got a foot switch on the floor for the activating the the relay setup, timing relay, and triggering the solenoid relay. So here we go. This is two layers of point two. Well, you know, I must have the you have the timing on. Oh. Yeah, I got the timing on uh, medium pulse. Let me go to fast, fastest pulse I have. Shortest pulse. Here we go. There we go, that's better. There we go. So as you can see there, that was uh, fastest pulse I have. I believe that's about five milliseconds. The welds are just perfect. I don't have the proper copper tip right now, but you can see a little pink residue left behind, but those welds are perfect. The first one was uh, the medium timing. That's for a thicker strip. I'm going to use that now. I'll use it now. So I'll turn, show you. I just turn up my, uh, so now I'm uh, the different timing. And this will be three layers of point 0.2. Weld them no problem. This can weld two to three layers that aren't welded together on top of a cell and weld them to the cell with the full timing. This is 800 cold cranking battery, AGM. Oops. Didn't have the best connection there or something. There we go. So that's three layers. You can see a little residue on the back. I've ripped them apart already testing. I know they're welded together. And then we'll go to the longest pulse time. It's usually a doozy. Ooh, that was a long one. So I have it turned down right now for the longest pulse time. And then I have it turned over. So now I got it back over. This is disengaged. And then now we're just onto the first slot for here, which is the shortest timing. So you can see that longest timing was pretty uh, pretty intense there. But it welded all three strips together. And even the middle timing welded all three strips together. And the one timing is just beautiful welds right there. Hope everyone likes it. It's as basic as you get. You're not going to get much welders that can do as good of a job as that. That's just a dirty old battery truck, $10 truck relay. And then this has got a little... Junkyard relay, it's a, I should just have a spare one somewhere here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, 
right up there. Just 12 volts, 5 amp at 30 volts. Just turning it on and off. And then I'm just using, so what I'm doing here is I got capacitors in here. So whatever I'm hitting this button, that's in, engaging whatever capacitor I have turned on at the time. And then the trigger to this is drained through that capacitance. So that timing is set by the capacitance of the capacitor I'm using. So that's how I'm getting the different settings of timing. Again, the consistency of weld from the buffering of the capa uh, is 82,000 UF capacitor, 16, 15 volts. And uh, yeah, well, I shouldn't have plugged my wall unit part. But that's it. Best welds. You know, you can uh, weld 0.3 or 0.4 nickel strip of that, multiple layers. Make any e-bike pack you need to make. What's nice about this is you can hook a trickle charger up to it and keep it fully topped up the whole time. It works great. All right, hope everyone's having a great day. Cheers.